Okay, this is all about Firefox and its profile. So this is right click and edit it in a text editor. The bit that counts is on the end there. I got a strange path. Yours will look more like this, I expect. And that's your standard Firefox launcher, shall we say. When you double click on it, you get a basic Firefox. And all of this is saved away. You do a control H here to show the hidden files. And then control H again to get rid of them. So this is control H. Now we need to go into the dot Mozilla Firefox Now that's the default profile and it's all saved away here So we'll go into Gini again and there's the name of the directory look Same as that one there, so that's where it's pointing so now we'll create our own profile, shall we say. So I'm going to copy a profile, an existing profile from another partition and put it in my home directory just to make life easier. Ah. It's not mounted at the moment, so we'll go into Gigolo. I want to go into the 500 data partition. So right click, connect. Now it should show up in Thuna. And there it is. So this is where all my profiles are. So we'll copy that one for now. I'll just put it in this menu directory out of the way for now. This is showing you how you can copy your profile folders around and use it on multiple operating systems. I use the same profile whether I'm in Windows or any Linux. This is how you create profiles. Give it a name. Choose the folder and it's pointing at the default dot Mozilla folder look, but we won't go there. We put it in here, so we'll just point at it. Say finish and now it should launch it. Yep. That wasn't difficult, was it? Now I could have copied that profile from a different machine if I wanted. Makes no difference. I'll copy another one over. This is my own profile basically. My everyday profile shall we say. Which is a little bit more involved than that. Now, just put it in the user folder to show you. You can put them anywhere you want. I mean, I normally leave these profiles on a data partition so I can use the same profile. Whatever operating system I'm running on this machine, they're all pointing at the same profile. So I don't have to copy it around. Very handy using data partitions. This one's a bit bigger than the last one. <laughs> Create another profile. 
Who we call this one? Fred. And there he is at the top. You can call them whatever you want, but it's normally best to keep them the same name as the folder. It's less confusing. And there's my everyday profile. I'm normally on a much bigger monitor than this. This is on a laptop and I'm normally on a 40 inch TV. So everything looks a bit squashed, but this is my speed dial, which I use instead of bookmarks. It's so much easier to drag and drop and maintain it. So that's three profiles. Now we'll have a go at running two of them at the same time. So that's what that one's looking like now. There's the A line. And there's Fred underneath. You've never got to do anything in that file. I'm just showing you how it's stored. <coughs> I'm going to make a few changes in this file now and then save it under a different name. So first of all we'll change the name of it. What shows up on the desktop etc. And we'll call it Fred because I'm going to point at the Fred profile. I'll just do a search and replace all of them rather than having to type it in all the time. That's all of that changed now to Fred. So now we'll save it as. Take out profile and put in Fred. And there's Fred up there. Now we've got to make a, a change here so that it calls up a, a second profile even when one's already running. So that's the profile name, Fred. Then you've got to add this bit on the at the end of it, shall we say. Now if I run saline, and then we double click on that one, we should have Fred as well, and there's Fred. Two profiles same time. It comes in handy sometimes when you want to copy bookmarks over from your existing profile or something like that, because you can't import prof import bookmarks into speed dial which doesn't matter to me because I never use bookmarks haven't for many years put it back like it was now This is a live CD I'm going to take a snapshot of and post a link to. So if you copy the Firefox profile of this live CD into your own OS, there's a good starter there for a basic Firefox profile. But you can add your own favorite add-ons to So that's it. It wasn't too difficult, was it? 
Maybe you want to watch it again. Bye. Hope is helpful.